Okay, do you want to watch me turn a simple cut into the juiciest, melt in your mouth, slow smoke pork belly you've ever seen? Awesome, because this slow smoke pork belly transforms an ordinary cut into a masterpiece of smoke and flavor that'll make your guests think you've been barbecuing for decades. Just imagine biting into a piece of pork so tender it practically dissolves in your mouth, wrapped in a dark, sweet and savory crust that's packed with flavor. That's what we're creating today, a succulent masterpiece that's gonna redefine your barbecue expectations. From selecting the perfect cut to achieving that coveted bark, I'll guide you through every step of the mouth-watering journey. So stick around and see the full process from prep to plate. Let's dive into the star of the show, this beautiful slab of raw pork belly. What I have here is about five pounds of pork belly. This cut is perfect for our brisket style method because it's rich in flavor and has just the right amount of fat to keep everything juicy and tender. Now here's the secret sauce, keep the fat on. Not only does it help lock in moisture, but it also creates an incredible crust that's bursting with flavor as it slow smokes. Imagine that luscious melt in your mouth texture complemented by a crispy caramelized exterior. You won't want to trim it off. Next up, we need a binder to help the rub stick like glue. I'm using a thin layer of mustard, which adds just a hint of tanginess while providing a great base for all those amazing spices. Don't worry, if mustard's not your thing, you can swap it out for other options like oil or even a flavorful marinade. Now that our pork belly is prepped, it's time to work some magic with our seasoning. We're going to use a combination of two rub that'll take our slow smoked pork belly to a whole new level. First up, sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Apply it generously all over the pork belly. Let the salt and pepper work its wonders. This rub not only enhances the natural flavors of the meat, but also helps to form that delicious bark we're after. Next, we're adding a sprinkle of Fire and Smoke Society's Sweet Preacher Rub. The second layer brings a savory kick that'll make each bite unforgettable. Trust me, the combination of these two rubs is what sets this pork belly apart. Remember, if you have a favorite rub of your own, feel free to use it. The beauty of this recipe is that it's all about what you love. With our pork belly seasoned to perfection, it's time to fire up that grill. Let's set our smoker or grill to a steady temperature of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. This higher heat is key to achieving those brisket-like results in less time, ensuring our slow smoked pork belly turns out tender and flavorful without waiting all day. Now, I know that every smoker has its quirks, so feel free to adjust the temperature based on how your grill performs. If you prefer a slightly longer cook, you can set it to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Just remember, the lower the temperature, the more time you'll need to achieve that perfect tenderness. As we get everything dialed in, keep an eye on your temperature gauge. This step is very important to ensure that your pork belly smokes evenly and absorbs all that delicious smoky flavor. Once you got that grill set and ready to go, we're placing our seasoned pork belly right on the grate, letting the magic of the slow smoking begin. And it's been about an hour, so let's take a peek at our slow smoked pork belly. Carefully open a smoker and give it a light spritz with apple juice. A funny story here is that when I went to the grocery store to pick up some apple juice, I was told that there was a recall, so I had to make an executive decision, which was going with a 50-50 mix of pineapple juice and water. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. The reason that we're spritzing this is that not only that it keeps our pork belly moist, but it also helps enhance the beautiful bark we're aiming for. As we take this quick shot of the developing bark, you can see how that peppery crust is starting to form, adding a tantalizing visual appeal to our dish. The rich colors and textures are the sign that our pork belly is well on its way to becoming a flavor-packed masterpiece. Now, let's close it up and let the smoky goodness continue to work its magic. After about two hours of slow smoking bliss, it's time for an important step, checking the internal temperature of our pork belly. We're aiming for right around 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the sweet spot before we can wrap it up. Reaching this temperature is vital. It locks in all those delicious juices and flavors, ensuring that each bite is packed with goodness. If the temp isn't quite there yet, no worries. You can spritz it again for a little extra moisture, keeping that mouthwatering texturing we're after. Now, it's time to elevate our slow smoke pork belly even further by wrapping it snugly in a double layer of foil. This step is key to trapping in all those incredible flavors and keeping that meat juicy and tender. Carefully place the pork belly in the center of the foil, then fold the edges over tightly to create a cozy little package. Make sure that you got all the air out. We don't want to steam this pork belly. Once wrapped, set the pork belly back on the smoker and adjust your sights on a new target temperature of 203 degrees Fahrenheit. This is where the magic happens. At this temp, our pork belly will become incredibly tender, practically falling apart at the slightest touch. Set a timer for another one to two hours depending on your smoker's efficiency. Oh, 
And by the way, if you're new to backyard barbecue and want a little extra help with cooking times and temperatures, I've got a free guide that'll make things super easy for you. It covers everything from meats to veggies and it's perfect for getting started. Just drop a 100 in the comments below and I'll send it your way. Now, the moment of truth has arrived. Let's check our slow smoke pork belly for doneness. We're aiming for a temperature right around 203 degrees Fahrenheit, which guarantees brisket style tenderness that will leave everyone in awe. Once we hit that perfect temp, carefully transfer the pork belly onto a tray and let it rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes. This resting period is super important, allows the juices to redistribute throughout the meat, ensuring that everybody is packed with flavor and moisture. And that's how you get melt in your mouth pork belly, slow smoke to perfection. But here's the kicker. What if you can take this same smoky magic to your holiday table? There's one trick to smoking a turkey that changes everything and is coming up next. Just click the video right here and get ready to bring the flavor with your smoked turkey. I'll see you there.